Good morning, everyone. The first day of May, 2014, and this is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice today. I'm exceedingly glad in a very important message, and I want you to listen to me very carefully. I ask that you watch this video in its entirety. Now, I'm going to title this video, Demonic Possession, Depression, and the Great Deception. Gather around. Let's have our coffee first things first. You know, I really miss are you rapture ready coffee cup i guess this one will do kind of it's my way of fighting and speaking out against the new world order the one world religion the one world government i've got my gun cup which is just not the same but hold on good morning to all of you on youtube all my precious viewers and subscribers my brothers and sisters and a special good morning to all of you, my family and friends on Facebook. Now, again, you might ask, why did you title this video, Demonic Possession, Depression, and the Great Deception? I have a very special sister who is a viewer and subscriber to my channel, and she uploaded a video. She sent me a message here on YouTube and asked that I watch this video, and I did. And it's on the meat of the word. I want you to watch this video. It's a little bit lengthy, but well worth the watch. Such an important message for the Church of Jesus Christ today. Let me take you to her video and subscribe to her channel. Be right back. Now, this is the video, and it is by YouTuber Miss Stamps One, a precious, precious, wonderful, beautiful sister with a very important message. I ask that you subscribe to this channel. The video is a little lengthy, but watch this video. I'll be right back. All right, now I'm going to move as the Holy Spirit guides me, and I got a feeling we're going to go back to her video, and I want to go over the comment section because I did leave some comments on her video. Now, this comes at the most perfect time, right when I have made the decision to change direction to change course in the type of videos that I upload here to my channel. The hour is far too late, and Satan has done just too much damage within the Church of Jesus Christ today. I'm going to speak out against the great deception and the world church, this new age Christianity. I'm going to speak out against the new world order, the one world government, the elite, the powers that be that have brought this country down, that has turned its back on the living God. I'm going to speak out against the atrocities of the Vatican and the Roman Catholic Church, paganism, idolatry, idol worship, to those that keep Jesus, Yeshua, crucified on that cross, that hang a crucifix on their wall, I say to you, my Jesus lives. Take that cross down. Now, there are many, there are many that are under the false teaching and belief that those of us, brothers and sisters, who suffer with sickness, affliction, pain, suffering, who live in poverty, and who suffer with emotional stress, anxiety and depression that somehow we are under demonic possession these are topics that i know a great deal about these are teachings that are of the enemy of the devil and i want to talk about that i want to talk about healing we do brothers and sisters have the power through the blood that was shed on that cross through Yeshua to heal if it be God's will. But, you know, there are many on YouTube, and I scroll around the YouTube channels, there's one in particular, and he does his YouTube videos, and he's got this uh, strange looking crucifix he's holding. He charges, like, I think, $250 for a consultation, and then for quite a bit more he will perform an exorcism and he will take away that spirit of anxiety that spirit of depression 
These are charlatans. Church beware because the enemy, Satan, has crept into the very church of Jesus Christ. We that suffer with pain, sickness, disease of the body, sciatica, back pain, lung disease, heart disease, kidney failure. These are attacks of the enemy, but it's not a demon possession. It is not a demonic possession. Those spewing this type of garbage to the church today, you have been deceived. You are falling right into the hands of the enemy as he builds his world church, and you have fallen for the great deception. I have myself suffered greatly with panic attacks and anxiety when we lost everything. When we lost our house and we lost, I lost my businesses, I thought I was having a heart attack. I had rapid, rapid, rapid heart heartbeat. I couldn't breathe. It was anxiety. I was not possessed by a demon. Anyone I want you to understand something. Those that are putting this out on YouTube to the church today, and you are following this teaching, I want you to understand. It is very rare. A demonic possession is very, very rare, even today in the end times. And it is not an attack on those that are saved and born again. Those that feel that because we are suffering financially, we're living in poverty, we're sick, we have pain, we have arthritis, we have back pain, sciatica, it's because our, we are lacking in our faith. I want to address you to the disciples. They lived in poverty. They had affliction. They had pain. They had distress. I'm sure they were depressed more than one time. The Apostle Paul, do you think he was lacking in his faith? Because he was not healed, he suffered, suffered greatly in pain, and he prayed to Yahweh for a healing, but that healing did not come. Did that mean he did not have enough faith, or he really wasn't saved? John, once he left the Isle of Patmos, and years went on, he became feeble. He became to the point where he could no longer even walk. He became crippled. And they had to carry him physically in. In their arms, they had to carry him into the church. He became feeble, depressed, and physically disabled because he really wasn't saved. He was lacking in faith. Stay tuned for part two.